ERCOT six-day supply and demand dashboard is showing a new all-time peak demand record this week, but the company says it currently has enough capacity to meet that demand. An ERCOT weather watch through tomorrow makes it the second one issued in less than a month. That means higher temps are forecasted, combined with higher electrical demand and potential for lower reserves. Even with this blistering Texas heat, energy experts say the grid is holding up well, thanks in part to other resources being used in concert. They say because excessive heat puts a strain on traditional resources, we're seeing things like solar energy really overperform and other innovative contributors that will help. We have currently 3,000 megawatts of energy storage, so batteries that are on the system, that's new. We have 8,000 megawatts of, uh, of batteries that are coming in the next uh, year or, or year to 18 months. And so we're seeing energy storage and solar power really playing a much more dramatic role than they were playing even just a couple of short years ago. Sweltering temps aren't just putting more of a strain on the grid, though. This dangerous heat is also keeping first responders busy. Austin Travis County EMS has responded to nearly 470 heat related incidents since April. If you compare April 1st to July 17th of last year, we were at 419. We ran 228 heat related incidents in the month of June of this year. That compares to 159 incidents in June of last year. So we're way over already. ATC EMS says oftentimes extreme heat is underestimated. So it's important to prepare before you even go outside by doing things like prehydrating and watching the forecast. Texans can monitor real-time and extended grid conditions on ERCOT's website. A link to that can be found within this story on CBSAustin.com. In Austin, Monique Lopez, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.